Hello everyone, this is Davey. Um, this is my continuation of my little presentation at Anthology Together 2022. Um, the whole idea of this video is to uh, provide you a way for you to follow up and continue with our process there. I know some of you were asking me about it and uh, well, this is it. So if you're a Blackboard administrator and you want to follow along, please do so. The only things you're gonna need are uh, your browser, which I'm using Google Chrome and Postman that you can see here. You can uh, download it for free and install it in your machine. I'm currently using Ubuntu uh, Linux, but um, uh, you can use uh, you can download it in Mac OS, Windows, whatever. Uh, the first thing you might want to do um, is go to developer.anthology.com and sign up for a new account. Please make sure that you uh, stop any type of extension that you may get there. So any ad lockers, so uh, privacy extensions, make sure you just disable them and reload the site or the browser because sometimes they can just mess up with the site. So first, we're just gonna uh, sign up and uh, the button is here, or is here at the top, so just click sign up. You need to read and make sure to do so, the terms and conditions when you, once you're done, and you can click here on I agree, then we can start creating it. Um, you just need to enter your email, which I don't uh, advise you to use your own email unless it's for testing. It's for, uh, if you know it's gonna be for an application that you're gonna be using long time, please make sure you create a new account within your system uh, with your own domain uh, with the name of the application or if you're gonna have applications there, make sure you call them uh, um, REST integrations or LTI integrations or however you're gonna call them. Make sure to enter the password. It has, it, it has a really, really, really um, high security um, policy, so make sure you enter that correctly. Your first name and last name are very important. This can be either your name if you're testing it, or uh, you can enter your uh, your company's name as well. So it can be like, I don't know, institution name and uh, the, the rest of the institution name. You know, uh, it could be like that. So it could be like university. Oops of Ohio or something like that, I don't know. And uh, once you're done, you're gonna click on I'm not a robot, it's gonna show you a CAPTCHA or maybe not, and uh, you're just gonna create an account. Since I already have one, I'll jump to mine. Um, one second. Once you've done it, so you just click login and it will take you to your site and it's gonna look like this. So since I don't have any application registered, uh, it's gonna ask me to register a REST or LTI application, which I'm gonna do so. And uh, here, I'm just gonna call it Blackboard Learn REST API. For beginners, I'm gonna use the same application name as a description. You don't have to, you can describe your own. And I'm gonna use the DEF CON Blackboard. So as I mentioned, the name is gonna be based on what you put here. You can always, uh, updated here in my account. So for example, I wanna change this to University of uh, Meow. And I'm just gonna save it. And once I've done it, the group is just gonna remain the same, but um, I can update it later. Okay, now that I save it, you're gonna see your application name, your, your secret and your application ID. The secret is only shown once. So please, please, please copy all of this and paste it somewhere and make sure you have them before you move this page or you click down or you close the browser because these are only shown once. So please collect them first. Okay, once you've done it, you just click done and we can move on. So this is the name of our application and now that we have registered it, we can now go to um, our site or learn site and we can just click uh, um, once you've logged in as an admin because you have to be an admin for this uh, you go and click admin go down here and you will find a link called REST API integrations once you're here you're going to click on create integration 
and here you're gonna paste your application ID we already have that one so I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it uh, now your learn user I'm just gonna use PB support for this testing but we discourage you to do so uh, please 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 don't do this <laughs> um, what you what you what you what you're gonna do if you're gonna use like an application if you're gonna create an application for a specific purpose let's just say maybe you just want to check the course memberships so course memberships should be here I can just go ahead and, and look for it um, it should be here there we go there it is and uh, if you just want to check the membership of a specific user we can use the send point and as you can see it does have the specific uh, entitlements of this user so we learn here you might want to create first a role and to that role assign those specific uh, permissions or entitlements and then create a user that user has to be uh, has to have that uh, specific role and then use that user here okay uh, we're gonna leave this as they are we don't move them and the end as uh, end user access yes and authorized to access your service default no and there we go so that's pretty much it Okay, our application now has been created. Uh, it's called REST API for Beginners and it's called Davy Institution Herrera LA. This was my previous name. It's just gonna stay that way for now. And uh, now that we have done it, we can jump to Postman. So here, if you just download it and install it, it's gonna ask you to log in, but there's gonna be like a button down here saying, uh, forget it or I don't wanna sign in, take me to the app. And you just click that and it's, it's going to take you here. So the first step is going to be go to environments, create a new environment here with this plus button. And we're just going to call it BB REST for beginners. There we go. Why we're going to create this environment first? We need it because this is where uh, our variables are going to be stored. So now we we'll go here to collections and we're going to create a collection, but we're not going to create it here. We're going to import it. We have two specific ways. We can come here to explore APIs, which is just basically going to the ontology, to the developer.ontology.com site, and you're gonna click on learn. And once you're here, you're gonna see this little link under here. You, can, you will see them in most of our version or all of them. And um, once you're here, you're gonna click it and you will see something like this. This is huge and this, this is way too big you can just go ahead although copy it and paste it here on raw text or you can just go ahead and click here copy this and link paste it continue and import it and now our uh, API endpoints have been imported this is the first step now you're going to see these tabs, you're going to see these tabs, I'm just going to go ahead and close them. Now in variables, here, well, clicking here and then here in variables, you're going to see the base URL. We need to add a new one, which is going to be called FQDN. It's uh, FQDN. And we're going to paste our URL. So we're just going to copy this and go there, paste it there. And on FQDN, we're just going to remove the whole thing. So it's just going to be this and you should just paste it automatically there. All right. Now we're going to move on to authorization. Make sure you click on control S or save because sometimes you can lose that. So make sure you click on that or hit control S, command S, whatever you have on your, on your keyboard. Now we're going to click here on the type we use OL2 and uh, it is going to ask us for uh, what is our um, access token URL. No, we don't need that. We're going to need only the client ID and the client secret. So uh, we're going to paste that. We already have that. So I have my application ID, which actually is the application key. But you're going to be tempted to paste here your application ID that was returned from the developer portal. But it's not that one. It's going to be your application key. And here under client secret, you want to paste your secret. All right. Once you've done it, and we're going to need our uh, access, access token URL. So you can see 
this one. This one's going to be uh, this URL from here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and copy it. I use a weird method to copy them. I just inspect them <laughs> and then go there. But uh, it's usually uh, that way. So it's gonna be HTTPS uh, slash slash. We're gonna use a variable, which is gonna be FQDN and we're gonna paste it here. So pretty much that's what we need. And uh, I think we're I think we're good. Let me let me double check this. Yeah, I think I think we're pretty much done. So I can't bear. Uh, go. Yeah, we need to modify this grant type. It's gonna kind of be authorization. It's gonna be client credentials. And uh, if everything is good after we have saved and we have saved this as well, make sure all of this is saved. Um, you can just go ahead and get new access token and if everything goes correct you're gonna see authorization complete and you can click here and proceed and it's just gonna click here and use token and once that token has been added you can just go in and I don't know check um, users for example so usually this, these these uh, all variables are already checked by default I'm just gonna make this bigger so uh, we can just remove them, remove them, remove them, remove them, remove them. And uh, if I just send this, I'm gonna get all the users here. So I'm just gonna look for, I don't know, someone, let's say Mr. Scott Hurray, and he's just right there. We found him, we found his, his, his user, he's disabled, uh, he's an administrator. So um, yeah, there we go. So uh, this is the first steps for you guys uh, and for everyone who wants to start using our APIs. Um, hopefully this is simple. Uh, this is as easy as I, as I could do it. If you have any questions, any issues, anything you need, uh, please don't hesitate and contact me directly uh, on my email, you already saw my email, david.herrera at ontology.com, or you can use developers at ontology.com, and uh, we'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you, and see ya. Bye-bye.